Hello everyone, welcome to the course data structures. This is N. Tulsi Chitra, Associate Professor, Department of CSIT, MLR Institute of Technology. Let us see today's overview of the course. In the previous uh, video, you can refer the previous video so that uh, you can, you will be knowing about what is brute force pattern matching algorithm and what is pattern matching, all these things we ha I have discussed in the previous video. Now, we will be seeing about how we are going to perform the implementation of brute force pattern matching algorithm. Let us see the code, how it is going to work and then we will be seeing and uh, executing the program and see how it is going to work. And uh, you can able to see here, here mainly uh, we are going to take in pattern matching algorithm, we are going to have a text and a pattern will be given. Based on that, we are going to check for whether that pattern is present in the text or not. This is the main logic for a pattern match. Now, how we are going to implement it? That means first we need to read a text and then followed by a pattern. These two things has to be read. And based on that, if the pattern is present in the text, so that we can identify from which from which index it is going to start. This pattern is starting. That index we are going to print. Okay. Now, let us see here what we are going to implement is, let us see this one, how this code is going to work. Before going to discuss about uh, the main logic, first we will see in the main, uh, in the main function, how, what you are going to read and what you are going to pass it as uh, your brute force parameters, right. And as you know, you, these are the header files that we require. One is stdio.h and another one is string.h. These are the two header files that we require here. Now, coming to here. First, we need to have the text and pattern to be declared as a string or a pointer. Then, uh, read uh, uh, the text value by using get is bar by using scanf also you can read. But by using scanf, you should not have any spaces. Please remember this. And uh, you are going to read one pattern also, right. And we are going to call the function called brute force search. In this, we are going to pass the pattern as well as the text. These are the two parameters where we are going to pass. And if it returns with some value, that means with some index, then based on that, we are going to say that the pattern is found in that particular text. If not, it is not present in the text, right? This is the one where we are going to do in the main function. Coming to the actual logic, let us take one text, small text I am taking here, A, B, A, A, B, A. This is the text which I am going to take. Now, my pattern is A, A, B. This is the pattern and consider these are the indexes for it, 0, 1, 2, 5 and this is 0, 1, 2. This is the pattern indexes, right? Now, what is a brute force algorithm is going to do is first it will be checking the first character with the first character in the pattern. If it is matching, then it is going to check for the second character. If it is matching, then it is going to check for the third character. Like this way, it is going to work. Now, what is the length of now? We will start the tracing part of it. Now, m equal to string length of pattern. This is my string length of pattern. My length of this one is 3, m equal to 3 and n equal to, what is the string length? 5 plus 6. The length of text is 6. Now, how this is going to work? Now, start our loop iteration, how it is going to work? i equal to 0, i less than n minus 1, i equal to le i less than n minus 1. The meaning of this one is less than or equal to, sorry, i less than or equal to n minus n. n is 6, 6 minus 3, that means you are going to have 3. That means this outer loop will be repeated for 3 times. Now, j starts from 0, 0 less than m, m is nothing but the 3 value. Until this inner loop condition is failed, this has to be repeated. Now, check for if Text of ij, i is nothing but 0 plus j value is nothing but 0 value, i is 0 and j is 0, not equal to pattern of j, j value is 0. 
Now check for text of zero value and pattern of zero value. That means these two values we are going to check. That is a not equal to a. A not equal to a. Here the condition is not the true one, so that it will not terminate, right? Now it will be incrementing the j value. J becomes one, one less than three. The condition is true again. Now again check for text of i i is zero only j becomes one and not of pat of pattern of j value is one now right text of one is nothing but b b not equal to pattern of one is a now yes this b not equal to a yes the condition is true now it will terminate now this will terminate this inner loop will terminate now it will be checking for j equal to m what is j value j is 1 and m value is 3 but this condition is not true so now i will be incremented after this now i will be incremented i becomes 1 1 less than or equal to 3 now j again starts from 0 onwards 0 less than 3 that means one shift it was done and again it is checking with the characters now i becomes 1 that means it will be checking from here text of i is 1, 1 plus j is 0, not equal to pattern of 0, 1 is, text of 1 is nothing but b, b not equal to pattern of a is a, pattern of 0 is nothing but a, if this is not equal, so that it will terminate, that means it will terminate this loop, it will be coming out of it and it will be checking with the j value equal to m, j is how much? 0, 0 equal to 3 condition fails again, right. Now, i becomes 2, 2 less than or equal to 3, condition true again, j becomes 0, 0 less than or 0 less than 3, condition true again, text of 2, now it is going to check from here, not equal to pattern of 0, yes, 2 values a, a not equal to a, again, it is not the true condition, the condition fails here, so that it will be incremented, j becomes 1, 1 less than 3. Now text of 3 not equal to pattern of 1, what is text of 3 is a, a not equal to pattern of 1 is also a, again the condition is not true, so j will be incremented, j becomes 2, 2 less than 3, text of 4 not equal to pattern of 2. What is text of 4 value? B not equal to A. Again, not A, sorry, B. Text of this one is this, B not equal to B. Again, not the true condition. Now, J becomes, J becomes 3, 3 less than 3. Now, the condition fails, right. Now, J value is 3. After, in, after incrementing, the condition fails. Now, j value is 3. Now, this is going to be terminated. This loop will be terminated. Now, j becomes 3, 3 equal to 3. After terminating this loop, after terminating this loop, it will be coming from and checking j equal to m. j is 3 and m equal to 3. So, that it returns the i value. What is your i value? i value is 2. That means from index 2, your pattern gets started. Right? If you do not find the pattern, then you are going to return with minus 1. Let us execute this program and see how it is going to work. Yes, let us run this program. Here, this should be less than or equal to. One save this and uh, one more. Yes, it is already saved. Let's run it. Yes, enter the text. The same text I will take. A, B, A, A, B, A. This is the text and pattern is A, A, B. Let me show you the output. Yes, at index 2, you are going to find your pattern. And in the same way, run and check whether the pattern is not there in the list. A, 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 B, B, A. Suppose this is a pattern I have given, not found in the given text. 
like this way you can check this uh, brute force and you can implement this program yes the overall summary of this uh, session is you can try to implement this brute force uh, pattern matching algorithm in a simple way right and uh, so that you could uh, get some clarity about how the text and pattern will be given and uh, how this is going to work the pattern is present and then if the pattern is not present okay thank you if you have any comments view it in the comment session and uh, thank you